Hey little sloths, it's me, Nick. Avocado, I'm back home. Shoopy doo, I'm home. Hello, I'm back home. Shoopy doo, I'm home. Hello, and this is hot and steamy. Cause we're eating for the first time. Wah, wah. <laughs> it sounds like a trombone. Wah, wah, wah. Yes, we're eating wah, wah for the first time. And I'm back home from my trip. Now, if you saw yesterday's video, check out yesterday's video. Bam, there it is. Nick, edit. Remember to put in the thumbnail so people know. So yesterday, I did a very popular challenge. Hopefully, it's really popular for me, too, because we need the views over here. And um, today, I decided to do something I've never had before, something different. People love my 7-Eleven ones, which I don't know why. It's usually just junk. Now, Wawa, I've heard it's similar to Sheets, which is what I have in Pennsylvania. It's made to ready, go order food. This is cheddar cheese sauce. I just got a side of cheddar cheese sauce. Can you even see that? Mm, probably not, okay. We're gonna make this look good. How are you today? How are you today? That's what I say. Wow, I'm so over traveling. The next time I do collaborations, they're all coming to me because I'm officially worn out. <gasps> This is macaroni and cheese, and it's with sriracha sauce. Mmm, spicy mac and cheese over here. <gasps> Let's put this up. Ooh, I can smell that spicy. Or maybe it's buffalo. Anyways, I'm so excited to spend time with you. We have so much to talk about. It feels so good to be in my room. And I keep hunching, but this is just for the thumbnail. Don't worry. I'm a, I'm a tall man. We will bring us up. But this is just... Oh, I got some meatballs. Mmm. Um, shout out to my coldest water bottle sponsor. Now you guys, I figured out why it was squeaking. You press the little tab right there. Ah, no squeaking. We're all of May, we are doing giveaways again. We're gonna give out probably like 20 to 30 of these to my little sloss. So click the link in the description if you want one. Okay, what is this? Spicy bell, oh, this is my spicy chicken sandwich. Mmm, oh wait, that's not chicken, that's some, some kind of beef with like, I don't know. It smells delicious. All right, now we're on to the real good stuff. I had to get the spicy Doritos because I really want Takis, but they ran all out, but I love these, they're so good. Very, very delicious. Now this I did not get here for, I just put into the bag, but I really, I'm craving ramen. <laughs> this came from Thailand, this came all the way from Asia, and it's the, the Korean cheese and honey. Honey and cheese ramen cup. It's delicious. And I actually had this when I did my 7-Eleven one, I think. It's just tradition now. Go to the gas station, you get this. Okay. Wawa also has... This is jalapeno cheese stuffed pretzel. Cheese stuffed pretzel. Cheese stuffed pretzel. Okay. Now these are big, big sandwiches. Oh. One's hot, one's cold. Because you're hot and you're cold. Yes, you know. All right, so this one is a, let me read it to you before I, de you know, devour it. It's gonna be a classic roll of provolone cheese, extra cheese toasted with meatballs, caramelized onions, Parmesan cheese, extra clothes roll, and ho hoagie paper. <laughs> they actually said hoagie paper. That's not the right one. This one's the one that, yes, this is the hot one. The meatball sub. The cliff notes. This one, I got a nice cold sandwich. Italian, spicy Italian sandwich with mayonnaise, with sriracha, with chipotle, with southwest olive oil, extra mayo, extra provolone cheese, extra provolone cheese, Italian pepperoni, old bay seasoning, um, grated parmesan, tomatoes, roasted bell peppers, onions, grilled onions, lettuce, tuck in roll, hoagie paper. <laughs> they actually say hoagie paper at the end. Okay, so I got two big sandwiches, some ramen noodles, some mac and cheese. I'm back home and I can't wait to try all of this for you. So grab some food if you haven't done so already and we're gonna begin the show. I'm so happy you're here. Let's go. <sighs> okay. Easy. Cheesy. Ta-da! Yes! This setup looks crazy good. Crazy good. I'm so excited. I did have a little slurp of the noodle. I don't remember them being that spicy. Ooh, this is supposed to be sweet honey cheese, and my mouth is burning. What? Well, it's Korean. You know, they love their spicy challenges. Actually, I learned hanging out with Yanni Eats. I still have to post our other videos, so stay tuned for that. But I was like, wow, Koreans are a lot of spicy. She goes, no, 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 no. That spice that you see in the Korean fried noodles is not cultural. <laughs> That's new. 
past five years, my parents have no idea what that is. My parents would never eat it. I'm like, oh, okay. Cheers. I'm gonna start with, oh, that's good. That's spicy. Mm. I don't remember being that spicy, but it is. Oh, follow my Instagram at Nikocado Avocado, and if you do, I might just follow you back. Spicy, but it is. Oh, and just so that we're clean today, I'm gonna wear a bib. Thank you. <clears throat> Cheers, here's my plate from the dollar store. It's nice. Actually, yes, it was one whole dollar. All right, so I'm dying to try this. I'm actually dying to try everything. This is my cold sandwich. Ooh, look at all that sauce. Cheers, little sloths. Let's have a great show together. Mmm. 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 I didn't even know what Southwest Chipotle sauce was until the Subway thing I did. Now I want to put it on everything. The gods are blessing me. However, it needs more sauce. I like my sub sandwiches to be drowned in sauce. But that's good. Ooh, ooh, my lips are on fire. What is wrong with my lips? They feel like they're on fire. Anyways. Let's try the, speaking of fire, let's try the fire mac and cheese. So this is really cool. Wawa, at least at mine, they have different flavors of mac and cheese. You can get spicy, you can get non-spicy, you can get like Alfredo. Mmm, buffalo. Mmm, I got spicy sriracha. Oh my god, now let's try this. I put some cheese on top. Ooh. Ooh. Wow, look at this, fam. Can you see me? Here we go. I forget what this is. I read it to you, didn't I? Oh my god. Mm. <sighs> oh my god, this is so good. Now, this is so exciting. And we're just getting started. We're only halfway done, too. How are you today? How are you today? That's what I say. Do people get angry if I'm showing the whole roll? I mean, this is... That well. Too bad, so sad, too bad, bye bye, bye bye. <clears throat> oh, it does feel nice to be in my room though, minus the mosquitoes. I'm telling you, I'm ready to leave Florida because of the mosquitoes. Columbia had them, but Columbia is not at sea level. We were like thousands and thousands above sea level, which I mean, it's still hot down there, but it's not like Florida. Actually, one of the the best parts about going to Pennsylvania this summer for, I might extend it to two months because it's not as hot and we can find a place with essential <laughs> air. Oh my goodness. Okay, now we're gonna try this pretzel. It's supposed to be cheese and jalapeno infused. So cheers.
Well, that's plain. Where's the cheese? Well, I have this cheese here, but <clears throat> this did not come with it. I paid for this on the side because I like everything in cheese. Pile of cheese. Barely in there. Do not recommend. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? I don't think it's worth it. Hmm. Um, but before I go to Pennsylvania, I'm going to be doing a Disney World video. Hmm. Hmm. I highly recommend this. I don't know where you can get this though. I have never seen this on Amazon. If you live near Oriental Shop. <clears throat> oh, my meatballs. Let's try my meatballs. There's a Dorito in there. Oh, I'm like, where's my fork? Was it funny seeing me back? Let's get a nice meatball full of sauce. Oh. That is good. Not crazy good, but good. Much better than this rock. Okay, so so far my favorite is the sandwiches. Excuse me, that's bad English. My favorites are. Um, by the way, everyone got mad. They're like, you had Winstock before. You had Winstock before. Yesterday's video. I know I have, but that video was my first time. I just didn't publish it. People can be so fin- Oh, oh, this is spicy. People can be so finicky sometimes. I'm like, what? Mmm. The mac and cheese is good. It's hard to go wrong with mac and cheese. The sa I love the cold sandwich. Mm, 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 mm. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Mmm. Mmm. And the camera shut off. I didn't even realize and I was in the middle of a big speech about traveling and horoscopes and travel and relationships. <laughs> and my whole thing's now, I was talking to myself. Great. <clears throat> but that's okay. We can still find things to talk about. It's me. I'm, I run I run my mouth all the time. Ma'am. I love ramen. And this wasn't even from here. Let's do more of this mac and cheese. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Look at this one. I put cheese all over it. I I didn't even have this one yet. This has just been sitting here. Oh, this is my meatball sub. Oh. Mm. Mmm. 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 I like this cheese. It was only 75 cents. I always forget, I think they asked me, I didn't even look for this. They said, do you want cheese? I'm like, of course I want cheese. This here. Is this the special Wawa cheese? I mean, that made this sub pop.
So, when I was in Los Angeles, my last collaboration canceled on me literally five hours before. <clears throat> I'd been talking to her for months. I told her I would reserve those days for her. She, I told her date. She says, actually, these dates work better. I'm better at these dates. I said, okay, I'll uh, change my flight plans accordingly so that you can participate in my collabs. And I'm just, you know, what at the time, I was like, whatever. I'm like, because I was having so much fun with all the other collabs, right? <clears throat> and when I found out, I was real. it was like a stab in the gut. Like, come on. This is some BS. There's nothing in the world that could have come up. Unless, like, your family died or you, you know, cut yourself or, I mean, she was right there. It was something you planned. It was just like, I kind of knew it would happen. I just kind of knew. I kind of had this feeling like, oh, she's probably not even going to show up. I, you know, and that's fine. But now that I'm home and I'm thinking about everything and I'm looking back through our messages, I'm like, you know, this is really like, that's just rude. That's just rude, I think. It's kind of just rude. And I don't want to expose them because I don't think they're a bad person. But I do talk about my life and I don't know, I kind of I want to say. Should I say or should I not say? <gasps> Excuse me. Some people already know. I've seen it all over my comments because I talked about seeing this person. Actually, this person was more of a surprise. I didn't really talk about them that much. This was going to be a big surprise. And so, you know, I just kind of feel like I, I shouldn't take it personally, but at the same time is like, if they change their mind, they should have let me know at least a week before so I could have made arrangements with another collaboration. It's just fucking rude. Okay, now I will say who it is. I'm, I'm mad. Mmm. <clears throat> Mmm. I did tell some of my other collabs. I was like, I was going to collab this person. They're like, well, really? That's so crappy that they did that. They're like, what was the reason? I'm like, they didn't give one. They said something terrible. They said, you should ask for the reason. I said, it doesn't matter to me at this point. Like, <clears throat> they could be lying. I mean... I've lied if I don't want to see someone. I'd be like, oh, sorry, my grandma died. Or, I can't turn in my homework because my cat puked on it. Blah, blah, blah. You know, make something up, but at least let me know. Not the, not a few hours before. Like, that date was for her specifically the whole day, and I told her that. I just, uh, not very happy about it. And so, some of my collabs, when I told them, You're like, wait a minute, if she was your last collab before you flew home, how'd you see them all? Well, I hung out with, well, now, now everyone's going to know who I'm talking about. I hung out with some people off camera. And they said, you really should ask for a reason, at least for your own peace of mind. I said, but... For them to pull out last minute, obviously it's nothing. The chances of that are like getting hit by lightning. If they didn't provide a reason, it's because they didn't want to stay because they don't have one. And they're waiting for, waiting for me to ask so they can think of one. Hey, I got a flat tire. I'm on the side of the road. It's terrible. Like, I can't make it in time. Maybe tomorrow. You know, they'll say it if they want to say it. I just think, uh But I had fun with... I don't know. I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun. It's just, this is, now that I'm sitting here in my house, sweating, full of mosquitoes, <laughs> I'm not very happy about it. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. Here's another meatball sub. Mmm. <sighs> And by the way, 
if it looks like I'm not eating much food, mind you, this is 550 calories. And I ate it all. Slurp really quick. What would you do? You'd probably say, Nick, don't bring it up if you won't say it. That's what people are saying. Nick, don't bring it up if you're not going to say it. But my, my closest followers, my true little sloths, they know I can't help but talk. I can't help but talk. I can't help but talk about what's on my mind. And this is on my mind. And I just feel bothered. I just like, sleazy. Like, come on. I think I'm just disappointed more than anything. I'm not that angry. I think they're, I think it's ridiculous, but I was really looking forward to it. And I was planning this for like two and a half months, almost three months. That's life though. It's hard to be upset when you're eating good food. <laughs> well, I remember when I made Sass's video, I was like, she did this, this was me. I made sure I ate something that wasn't too orgasmic. Cocktail shrimp, let's be real. You don't roll your eyes back when you eat it, even if you're starving. <laughs> it's just not one of those mm-mm foods. I made a mistake though when I had the cheesy chicken when I made the video about her, that was the first one. I was like, <gasps> and it took away from me focusing and paying attention. So, let's try this one more time. I don't think I'm gonna like it, but we're gonna try one more time. Oh, I have a question. We're gonna do one more bite, one more bite, and we're gonna see if we can take this. I mean, it's, I think I just like soft foods, besides chips. I do like crunchy chips. Here we go. Oh wait, did I get a piece of cheese? It's not that bad. It's not that bad. I can taste the cheese now. I have to like hunt and peck for it. But I found it. There it is. I still would not pay for that. <clears throat> Again. <laughs> this they didn't give this to me. <laughs> like I wouldn't pay for that. No. Oh. Oh, I have a question for you guys. So, you guys love when I try new foods for the first time. This was one of them. As I continue to eat Doritos. Hey, I'm just being real. I'm not going to force down something I'm, I don't want any more of. Okay? This was good, but... I, ugh. I don't like... Is that pulled pork? Pulled barbecue? What is this? It's meat, but it's very stringy meat. I don't like stringy meat. I'd rather eat um, fish than stringy meat. Um... You guys love seeing me try things for the first time. What else do you want me to see me try? Um, I need to do <clears throat> IHOP. I need to do, what else? Have I, oh, Johnny Rockets. I need to do, you know, different brands that you know about, but I've never had. You can see my, re my reaction. So please, under this video, leave a comment and let me know what you want to see me eat. What do you want to see me try for the first time? And also, excuse me, in your comment, that was disgusting. In your comment, please tell me <clears throat> what I should order from that restaurant. So if I'm going to Applebee's, say, you have to get the Tex-Mex salad. You have to get the mozzarella sticks and you have to get the whiskey burger. You know, tell me what it is that you really want me to see, to see me try from these restaurants. I want to know. Ah, I feel like I got a cold sub, a hot sub, some mac and cheese, a meatball. The meatballs are good. I'm going to have another meatball. Mmm. Yeah, that's good. That's good. And I do love this mac and cheese. I love everything. I think the only thing I don't like is this pretzel. And this. Love these sandwiches. I like the cold one more, I think. I like cold sandwiches. Mmm. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. 
delicious. I'm going to get going though. I'm very full. It looks like I did it. It looks like I did mm. It looks like I didn't even eat, but I swear I did. Well, you saw me. I've been here for 30 minutes. <clears throat> Delicious. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna get going. I'm full. It doesn't even look like I ate that much, but I swear. Bye. <laughs> Thank you for your time. This was really fun experiencing this. Um, if you like my ash eyelashes, let me know down below. And yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. I feel so chill right now. I think I'm just chill right now. I just want to chill. I just want to lay on the couch and chill and turn the AC back on. Uh, bye. <laughs> see you guys later. <gasps> Excuse me. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.